Buffalo Bills earned an important victory over the New England Patriots on Sunday. And that means two things. Firstly, it means it's Victory Monday. And with Victory Monday, the second thing that it means, it means it's time to read some dumb comments from New England Patriots fans. And it's always fun to read dumb comments from opposing teams fans. But especially when it's a rival team and there's been some bad history, some bad blood there with New England and Buffalo for quite some time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to read some dumb comments from Patriots fans. But before I dive into doing that, I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And if you have, welcome back. Stay tuned for more content coming your way. Let's dive in. The first comment reads, I hope we can beat the Buffalo Frauds. And listen up. Sure, there are some fraudulent teams in the NFL. And the Buffalo Bills, they've looked like frauds at times. Early in the season with Ken Dorsey as their offensive coordinator. Losing games to teams like the Denver Broncos. Uh, you've, you've had some tough, tough losses. Denver Broncos, New York Jets, New England Patriots, all in that first half of the season. Those were ugly losses. You've beat the Dolphins, Cowboys, and the Chiefs. And... The Bills have also finished in overtime against the Philadelphia Eagles. And you're telling me that the Bills are fraudulent? No. And I'm not calling the Patriots fraudulent because they have no expectations whatsoever. They're just a trash team right now. A fraudulent team? Examples? Look at the Dallas Cowboys. Their road record is awful. They're atrocious on the road. You can't win on the road? Good luck in the playoffs. Miami Dolphins? Same thing, but it's different. You have a problem in Miami where they just can't... Have, the Miami Dolphins, they really struggle mightily against teams with a winning record. So, that could also come back to be a problem for them in the playoffs. Don't come at me calling the Bills fraudulent. Because there's definitely a long list of teams that should be considered ahead of them. Would rather have Mac Jones as my quarterback for the rest of my life than live in Buffalo. Okay. Exactly what Josh said. Okay, sure. If you want to keep Mac Jones as your franchise quarterback, <laughs> franchise quarterback Mac Jones in the same sentence, that should never be said in the same sentence. If you want to keep Mac Jones for the rest of your life, that's fine. And you know what? You know what you're missing in Buffalo? The world's best chicken wings. So go ahead. Keep Mac Jones. I don't understand how you people don't see the obvious promise in Zappi. It's his first season actually playing. He sees the field, makes decent choices, and is getting better at moving in the pocket. And I love the response from Catherine in the comments section. Straight up says, he sucks. I'm not, I don't think that he sucks, like he's awful. I think he's an all right average quarterback. He'll probably stick around the NFL for a couple of years and could have a long-term career, likely as a backup in the National Football League. But as, as a starter, a franchise quarterback, I don't ever see that being the outcome for Bailey Zappi. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? If he proves me wrong, good on him. But I just don't see it from him. And something that I that's something that stood out to me yesterday while I was at the game at Highmark Stadium. I'm watching Bailey Zappi, the first four possessions of the game, four turnovers on offense. And the fifth time, there was a turnover that was called back. It wasn't a fumble, and yeah, the call was right. Later on that drive, Bailey Zappi ended up with a 17-yard touchdown run, and he spiked the ball like he was Rob Gronkowski in his prime years. Bailey Zappi, you just had four turnovers before that. And the fact that you're spiking the ball in that situation, losing too, tells me a lot. Um, it was a good play, but that's not the situation to do it. I don't, I don't really see Josh Allen celebrating when he's losing or, or someone celebrating when they're losing. That's just, it's not a real winner mentality in my eyes. And finally, this comment reads, we are own the Bills. You know what? I'll give the Patriots some credit. I really will. Tom Brady, Gronkowski, that crew, they not only owned the Bills, they owned the AFC East, they owned the AFC, heck, they owned the NFL for a couple of years. I mean, that 
that was a legitimate dynasty that you had. A great dynasty, one that's going to go down, and it's going to be remembered for a long time. But when you look at the more recent history, owning the Bills, no. No. While it is true that the New England Patriots defeated the Buffalo Bills in Week 7, the Bills bounced back, recovered, beat the Patriots here in this Week 17 matchup, and... I do recall a massive blowout a few years ago in the playoffs. The last time these two teams played in the playoffs. And last time your Patriots even played in a playoff game was that game. The Bills didn't kick the ball once in that game other than point after attempts. Let that sink in. Not a single punt. Not a single field goal attempt. It was strictly touchdowns. Touchdown, touchdown. It was absurd. So don't come at me saying that you own the Bills. It's 2024 now. Yeah, it's actually 2024 now. Not 2006, 2007, 2008. It's not, it's not that 2000s until 2016. That era is gone. Things have changed. Get with the time. It's been 84 years. That was this week's version of reading dumb comments. And it was fun coming from Patriots fans. It's always good to see what they have to say. Uh, but next week, hopefully be doing one of these after the Miami Dolphins Buffalo Bills game. Obviously, if the Bills win, this video will be happening. And stay tuned for more content coming your way. This is going to be an exciting week. I'm heading to Miami. Going to do a bunch of content all throughout the week there. And... Uh, it's going to be a blast, huge game, huge playoff implications. I can't wait. I know you can't either. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned and be notified every time that new content is being released. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'm Jake Varco, and this is the Bills Bunker.